Hey guys, the other day I was down at the creek near our house and there are these huge oak trees, they're called bur oaks, and they drop these giant acorns. And I was looking at it, trying to figure out what I could make. Dude, it's like the, the exact same shape as Totoro, like from the movie My Neighbor Totoro. I was thinking it would be kind of cool to try to make it out of an acorn, so let's see what we can figure out. In order to use this, I'm pretty sure the best thing to do would be to remove the insides because this is still a live acorn nut and I have a feeling that over time the insides will shrivel and cause it to crack or it'll rot or something like that. So I'm going to take some sandpaper, sandpaper off the bottom, just scrape out the insides and then we'll just have the empty shell to be able to work with. Okay, now that we have the insides exposed, I'm just gonna take this little carving tool and I'm just gonna pick out all this meat in the center. It's pretty soft. All right, now that we have our emptied acorn nut, I went ahead and put some Sculpey inside of it and baked it for 30 minutes at 275 degrees. Don't worry if it splits a little in the back. I just put a little bit of wood filler in there and it was no big deal. Now you can see that I'm actually applying the clay to the acorn. That bottle cap you see on the right is actually full of isopropyl alcohol and I'm using that to help the Sculpey adhere a little bit easier to the shell. All right, sculpting the ears and now the tail. I know it doesn't look like much yet, but if you notice I sculpted the ears separately. I just don't think that they're going to be strong enough and stick well enough. So what I'm going to do is, after I bake it, I'm going to go ahead and drill two little bitty holes and glue the ears in place. Profile, got a little belly, let's bake it, and then to doing all the finishing steps. All right, Totoro is done baking. Now I'm going to make his umbrella. I'm just going to pull out some of this thin gauge wire, form it into kind of a six-sided star, twist up the ends. Then I just use the pliers to shape it into kind of an umbrella shape. All right, now for the tricky bit. Uh, you can see I use some contact cement on both the plastic and the umbrella frame and let it dry. The plastic I used was just black plastic from a trash bag and once it was dry, just go ahead and make sure everything contacts well and trim it off with some scissors. Make it look like a little umbrella. There, cute little umbrella. All right, for his fingernails, I just twisted up these little bitty deals and I'm gonna cut them in half and each one will be a nail that we'll glue on later. We have all of our parts here. We've got the little ears that I sculpted earlier. We're gonna glue on all the nails and also here's like the little leaf. All I did was smash a little bit of clay and turn it into kind of a pancake with the curly edges. I'm gonna glue on one of these little bitty nail pieces for the, the stem because if you look at Totoro, he, he's got that leaf with like a little stem on it. So I'm just going to cut off a tiny bit and then I'm going to super glue this tiny little piece in the center. If I can pick it up. See, so it's got just a little stem. All right, now I'm going to glue the little, just a leaf. I'm going to glue that on top. Make sure it's positioned where I want it. All right, now I'm going to take a little bitty drill bit and just hand drill where I want the ears. So I'm just going to drill those out and then glue the ears in place. So that looks about about like the right depth. All right, as you guys can see, it did jump ahead quite drastically. That's because my phone broke and I lost the files that were on it. Basically, all I did was paint him gray. Uh, I've uh, applied the fingernails, painted his belly kind of a creamy white, and the leaf on his head green. And now, obviously, I'm working on the eyes taking a fine tip paintbrush, painting those on, and then the little brown chevrons on his belly. Pretty simple. I am looking at a picture I downloaded um, of this pose when he's sitting waiting for that bus with the little girl in the movie. For the whiskers, I just took a twist tie, stripped off the little bit of paper around it, and cut them to the length that I wanted. And using the Dremel tool with a very fine bit, drilled some tiny little holes, pushed the whiskers down in it with some super glue to make sure they stick and stay there right where you want them, painted them black. And I didn't record actually gluing the umbrella on because it was such a tedious process and the camera was gonna be in the way, but 
this is going to give you an idea of where I'm going to glue it. And for the base that he's going to stand on, super simple, just took a ball of clay, smashed it flat, and then smushed Totoro onto it to leave an impression. That way I'll be able to know exactly where to position him and uh, glue him on. I hope you liked this video. It was a lot of fun to make, uh, turning an acorn into Totoro. Thanks guys. Bye.